What's good, homie squad? It's your boy, homie Ziggy. We back here with another reaction, and we got the Stupendium. It's been a little minute since we've reacted to them, but we got the Stupendium with The House Always Wins 2023 Remastered Fallout New Vegas Rap. Now, look, with the Stupendium, nine times out of ten, they barely ever drop. Well, even if they do, they try to make it be a masterpiece. Stoops try to make it be a masterpiece. And since since they have like other stuff they're trying to do and such, they figured, look, until when I get all my stuff sorted out, y'all gonna enjoy this little remastered here and such. So times out of ten we know it's gonna be a freaking theatrical type of vibe cuz this nigga Stoops be freaking it's basically like this he does what sorry they does what NF always say about I'm not making music I'm making movies and such cuz that's essentially what Stupendium does so we better check this out make sure you like comment and subscribe follow me on all my socials up there and whatever I do Let's get in video. Let's see what you got for us, Stoops. Subscribe to my channel as well. Welcome to the Lucky 38. Glad you could make the trip. The crowning jewel in the oasis of the Vegas Strip. I'm Robert Edwin House, the founder of this place of rest, a haven for the wayward. That's to say, if you can pay the rent. Understand that if you try to stop my plans, you'll come to harm. I ensure that every bandit standing here has just one arm. I eschewed the grandeur, built a land for all that's free from smarm. But show your hand, I'll flush you out straight down to the farm. You blunder in on the royal, the royal fresh and such the farm. This beat sounds like it's hip hop for All sure. that's free from smarm, but show your hand, I'll flush you out straight down to the farm. You blunder in and wonder if a bunch of chips can run the strip. A hundred twits with guns and clips have tried their luck and lost the bet. I fun- That whole entire rhyme scheme, hold up, run that rhyme scheme back. Run that rhyme scheme back. All that's free from smarm, but show your hand, I'll flush you out straight down to the farm. You blunder in and wonder if a bunch of chips can run the strip. A hundred twits with guns and clips have tried their luck and lost the bet. I funded it, I'm one with it, so watch your lip or run the risk. Cause if you're here to plunder it, you might just end up You under can it. hit them, you can fold them, stack the deck and break the dice. All that glitters isn't golden, cash that check. see why stupendium and like damn bulls pens are kind of alike because those two know how to freaking it's basically like this within nerdcore i can say the best pens and such are stupendium damn bull who else i could say divide and fable but they're on like the i would say like the modern version of nerdcore rather than like OG you can say like I wouldn't say grandfather but like that modern style that way not modern but like more of like the old style you can say that's all I'm clever cause in heaven well the house always wins and that's what happens whenever you go to Vegas nigga you think that you won? Nah, the house wins. You are so clever, cause in heaven, well, the house always wins. But the house always wins. House always wins. House always wins. 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 38, not really. Want to 
see the prophets of democracy, then go and see them. Across the street, a bunch of freaks are playing Colosseum. Honestly, was the world you wanted what you got to see when you were dropping crosses into boxes behind polling screens? Was dropping bombs your chosen option? Did you vote for screams? Was the apocalypse your politician's policy? Did you put stock in their preposterous and prophecy? A shining future built on squabble-free equality? Oh, so... Why well, I feel like he's on some controversy type ish with this one? That every day you'd get your plate of steak and collard greens? The human race was capable of anything but want and greed? But now that world is gone and what lived on belonged to me. That freedom you so want, it's now the cost of living comfortably. Peace is- Damn. Hold on, run that. Wait, what did that say? The freedom you want, the freedom that you owe, you so wanted, now now the cost of living comfortably. Damn. Seeing that nigga. Today's world, you can't even be able to live comfortably. You got it costs for you to live comfortably. The cost of living comfortably. Peace is just a product with a focus test of billions, and the test was unsuccessful, so we altered its description. Your safety now provided by the guys at Rocco Services. For one ongoing price of your unwavering subservience. Impressed, I raise the stakes, return this land to vibrance. Witness as I raise estates from mud and random violence. Business is the way to stay the bloody hand of tyrants. Convinced yet, sail and ask my buddy, Andrew Ryan. A grip of iron never tires. Head of iron, leaden wires, neon veins and ancient spires. Pump the caps and I respire. The economy is ash, I didn't light the fire. But I can always turn a profit sweeping up you the can can't hit them, you can fold them, stack them. Yeah, this is digging. It's basically like this. With certain nerdcore artists, with the likes of Stupendium and such, and Dan Bull, I could say, they're the ones who can literally make a rap like this, and who gonna stop them? I know I ain't, because <laughs> honestly. It's not the fact that I'm not into like all this conspiracy type mumbo jumbo. It's like this. We all know most of the times the world is effed up. We all know it. But most of the times most people don't want to say it. I know it's effed up but what's the point of me even want to say it? Because if I'm not... It's basically like this. If I don't have a big enough platform to say it, then it's just noise. But somehow... It takes people who are like saying like big and have like a big platform or so a big status to be able to say it. But that's the thing though, the gov is like the government would literally look at who's like big and such and who has like a say in something. Somebody who has like a big status or a big platform rather than listens to the people who actually give y'all like give y'all monies and whatnot who literally pays taxes and such but what is so crazy that we pay that most people who pay taxes and when you hear about what they do with the taxes and such you re do you really it makes you question do you even want to pay taxes anymore and such because with the whole type of controversial ish that be happening in, the, in America sometimes you just don't want to say n Is Is either you want to say something, or if you say it, it's not going to make a difference. Fire, leaden wires, neon veins, and ancient spires pump the caps and I respire. The economy is ash, this I is didn't really light no the problem. fire. But I can always turn a profit sweeping up you the You can hit them, you can fold them, stack the deck and wait the dice. All that glitters isn't golden, cash that check you Safer in the desert, only dust to judge your sins. But those who wage it aren't so clever, cause in heaven, well, the house always wins. House always wins. House always wins. House always wins. I saw the path, 
I preempted those ascending arms My gilded heart beats forever on to mend the scars I built an ark out of empty spas and trendy bars Mended the families, befriended with the NCR I raised the wasteland from a band of little fight clubs I handle situations delicately, white gloves I'm the chairman of the board, taxing on your survival Out to murder competition, then sit back and hike the price up I feel like that's like a little shot at corporates and such. Could be. One thing, this place like this. Y'all can like. Hold on, gotta sneeze. Sorry. <laughs> but all I gotta say is one thing with certain raps like this when it goes into the real penmanship, you can't expect me to break it down. Cause I'm just known for like breaking down like the likes of Fable, Rustage, DPS and all of them and such. But with Stupendium, his levels of me trying to break it down, nigga I have to be on his, I would have to be on Stupendium's level and such. Sorry if I'm using him or so. I apologize. Cause his pronouns, they and them. Yeah. Even though I have my gripes on the whole they, them series and such, I respect. Look, I respect his pronouns and all. It's just certain things that makes me see about people who have the pronouns they and them. Not with Stupendium. Stupendium, he's cool and all. But, and look, alright, look. Here's, if y'all can agree with me on this, Stoops, would you, this, no, this, Stoops, Stupendium, if you see this, this doesn't concern you. This is just because your pronouns. As long as you're a good person, you're cool, right? So, Stoops, you out the way. But for other people out there who is using the day and them, nine times out of ten, I can't rock with that. Not, I'm not saying I can't rock with it. It's just, it just has a weird, weird like ideology to me. Cause, well, like for simple fact, one, how you gonna call yourself a day and them when you're one person? Two, what's so crazy about this, what's so crazy about the whole pronoun things and such, is that you need to tell me, so saying if somebody who has those pronouns, they and them, right, they murder somebody, or sorry, not, or unalive somebody, right, or grape a child, you need to tell me, instead of getting mad at them for what they committed and such, you're gonna get mad at the person who's getting mad at them for their pro for not using their pronouns. I wouldn't at that point look here. So it's this is how I feel, right? This is how I completely feel about the whole pronouns thing. As long as we don't hear that she was on no killing type of vibe, on no child predator type of vibe, or no school shooting type of vibe, or any of them illegal shits or whatnot or them type of shits cool but the minute you start on one of those stuff I could give a flying F what your pronouns are cuz nigga ain't no way you expect me to respect ain't no way you expect me to use your pronouns or try to not misgender you when nigga you just freaking shoot up a whole entire school full of kids at that point Fuck what your pronouns are, nigga. You know what your pronouns are gonna be? Child killer. That's what your pronouns are gonna be. Those ascending arms. My gilded heart. So, if you agree with me on that topic of and st hell, stupendium, even if you want to agree with me on that, if you want to take, let me know of your comments on that. Let me know, cause I'm not trying to diss anybody with their whole pronoun situations. I'm just saying, if it comes to a point where something like when it involves like killing somebody or involves child predator type vibes fuck what your pronouns are if you agree with me let me know in the comments I saw the path I preempted if those ascending stoops, arms. Let me know. My gilded heart beats forever on to mend the scars. I built an ark out of empty spas and trendy bars. Mended the families, befriended with the NCR. I raised the wasteland from a band of little fight clubs. I handle situations delicately, white gloves. Yes. I'm the chairman of the board, taxing on your survival out to murder competition, then sit back and hike the price up. Oh no, a society trapped in a snow globe. No surprises, the raptors are no show. 
flow or deny every tragic is no hope The Mojave is savage with no home And like it to manage the whole show to the glitch and the This is... Stupinium got in his hip hop bag for this one for sure. Glamour and show boats, so the match of a man for my foe, yo. Unofficially branded and rap with just a pair of dice, I came and tamed these earthly wastes. I built a paradise, you might as well desert your faith. Long ago, when we aimed Armageddon at those pearly gates, I used that molten gold to rebuild heaven at the third You can hit them, you can fold them, stack the deck and wait the dice. All that glitters isn't golden. That check you'll pay the price Might be safer in the desert Only dust to judge your sins But those who wager aren't so clever Cause in heaven Well, the house always wins House always wins House always wins House always wins Always wins Let's face it, it is. Thanks for watching, thanks to my amazing patrons, and thanks to all of you for sticking around what it's been a little bit quiet around here lately. I've been working on some really big, exciting things, but none yeah, of them are tough. quite ready yet. So please enjoy this remaster tough, of one of my favourite stupendium classics in the meantime. And speaking of classics, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell. You know the drill. Stay tuned, I'll be back soon. So yeah, Stupidium has been a little bit busy, he's just not ready to release them there. But yeah, like I say, y'all let me know how y'all feel about my point on the whole they, them pronouns and such. Because, look, I'm not trying to be rude with if you have your pronouns and such. I'm just sometimes conflict. In a way, you can say I'm conflicted with the whole pronoun situation. Because, like I said, one, how can you be a they and them when you're one person, right? Or, and two, with the whole they and them situation, if anyhow something they did, if anyhow that person did a crime, right? Or they ended involved shooting somebody, or worse, involving with kids and such, right? You need to tell me that if, instead of you being mad at them doing what they did, to, especially for like kids, right? Instead of being mad at them for being kids, other people are going to be mad at them for not... Other people are going to be mad at the people who's mad at that person for what they did to the kids for not using their pronouns. If you don't get that shit the F out of here, we talking about the crime that this person did. And you worrying about us misgendering them? At that point, F what their pronouns are. Because once they did something like that, F what your pronouns are. You get out of here. But either way, shout out to Stopenium. Was it? That was on some hip hop vibes. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. But either way, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below. And like I said, let me know what you thought of my opinions on that whole pronoun situation. Hell, Stopenium, if you see this, let me know your opinions as well. But either way, it's been your boy Humble Ziggy signing out. Make sure to check out my other reactions right here. Follow me on all my socials up there and stay positive and keep the vibes up. Lego.